we begin this afternoon in East Providence, where video of an overnight inferno lands on YouTube and lands two people in the hospital. We're working developments on the scene this afternoon, and we just talked to fire officials about what caused the injuries to the homeowner and the firefighter. For more, let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North, who's live at the scene with our top local story at noon. Well, the fire swept so quickly through this one-story home here at the corner of uh, Winter Harbor in North Shore here in Riverside. One of the biggest problems for firefighters, access. Take a look. You can see that this, this neighborhood, the homes are just very, very close together. It's near the water, and firefighters had quite the battle trying to stop the flames from spreading to these nearby homes. This video, captured by a retired East Providence firefighter and posted on YouTube, shows how quickly flames consume the home at 18 North Shore Drive in Riverside. Fire officials say 59-year-old Ruth Hitchin, who lives here alone, had fallen asleep after lighting a candle inside. She heard crackling, and when she woke, the living room was on fire. She attempted to extinguish the fire herself, tried to pull the, the, I believe it was a couch that was burning, pull it outside, and the neighbors came and assisted her getting out. Hitchin suffered burns to her feet and is still in the hospital today. An East Providence firefighter was also injured after the flames had intensified. He suffered burns to his neck. Fire was blowing out of the windows and the, and the doorways of the house. That injured firefighter is expected to be okay, but fire investigators say the homeowner, who suffers from several health ailments, is incredibly lucky that she made it out of this intense fire. Once, once you have a fire in the house, we, we can't emphasize it enough. Get out of the house, let us do that. And again, as we take a live look at the scene this noontime, fire officials tell us that there were no working detectors inside the home after conducting their initial investigation. And again, at this noontime, we're told that the homeowner is still recovering at the hospital. We're live with this developing news this noon. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.